Hello again! So today's video is about inking up some of my fountain pens that I have in rotation right now. Some of them are going to switch out and some of them are going to stay the same. And these are just the inks I've decided to use for this time around. I love using some of these inks so it's kind of hard to say goodbye. And I also have that new Traveler's Company fountain pen that I want to ink up. I have decided to switch out the ink that I had in my Conklin to the ink I had in my Perkyo, which is Ancient Copper. And I'm going to keep Sierra Mist in my Sage Caveco and Salamander in my Student. I just really like the combination. I think the colors match the pens really, really well. So I've been re-inking Salamander in my Student pretty much since I've gotten it. <laughs> um, I really like this combo. It just looks really nice with the, the green top and the gold and then this like creamy barrel. I just I just like this combination. I think it's really pretty. And out of all my Caveco nibs, I do like this nib that I have in my um, on my student. My Caveco Sage will still have Sierra Mist, which again, I just think is a beautiful combination. It matches perfectly with the body of the pen and I love the way it, it writes. And the nib is a little bit thicker than the other Caveco pens that I do have, even though they're all medium for the most part. Um, the Traveler's Company fountain pen is a fine nib, which is not what I typically go for, but I've decided to put Jade Noir in it and it doesn't look as green as I thought it would. Like, I, I don't know if it's just because of how small the nib is, but when I was comparing it to my Art Caveco, it's kind of very similar, at least when you write with it. It looks very similar, so, and this is a medium nib in my Art Caveco, and I've decided to, to re-ink this with the Azure Noir. And then, like I mentioned, I switched out the ink that was in my Conklin All-American and decided to put uh, Ancient Copper in it. So I cleaned out my Perkyo, and even though I really love the way the Perkyo nib writes, which again is a medium nib, but it's one of the perfect ones I have, I decided to let it rest for a bit since I've added the Traveler's Company fountain pen to my rotation. I didn't have to re-ink this pen, but I've decided to just swatch it, which is my Sailor Mini, and it still has Earl Grey in it, which I think is a great combination. I just love the way it looks. The same goes for my Fox Caveco. It still has... Uh, copper Noir in it, which is a brighter orange compared to the ancient copper that I have in my Conklin. And then I still have uh, Green Umber in my Word Gauge, which it's it's running low but not too low yet, So, but it also has a really wide window so you can see when it's running low. And again, this is just my ink swatches, all the inks that I have. It's a lot of green, as you can see, but I really love writing out and swatching out all the inks that I have currently inked. And of course I had to add it to my ink list that I have in the back of my journal right now, which I do with a lot of different notebooks, especially my journals, just because I like to reference the inks I have currently in the pens that I'm using. I try not to have too many pens inked up all at once, just so I don't run into the habit of kind of neglecting certain pens. I don't want the ink to dry up or have the nibs get messed up because of it. Um, but I have been, I've noticed I've been favoring my student, my Caveco student, but I have been using um, the Traveler's Company fountain pen a lot since I've gotten it. It is different than some of my other pens, but I have been using it as well as my Art Sport since I've re-inked it. I have been using that as well, just because I really love the color combination. Um, but what about you? Do you have any fun ink and pen combos that you have to have when you use certain pens? Um, I definitely feel as though because green is my color, I gravitate towards it a lot more, and so I do like to have those kinds of inks in those pens. <laughs> but that's all I really want to share with you today. Thanks so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Thank you.